Rhonda O'Keefe is about to take an ultrasound picture of this man's heart with the help of artificial intelligence. I started two weeks ago and um, yeah, just in training at the moment, yeah. Rhonda is an Aboriginal health practitioner in Alice Springs. She has some medical training, but is now doing a job that usually takes years of study. An artificial intelligence program is telling her what she needs to do to get a picture that can be analysed by experienced cardiologists. The computer knows what the image should look like and it also knows how to get to the appropriate image, so it's able to prompt the person that's doing the test to get to where they should be. Indigenous Australians are three times more likely to die from heart disease compared to non-Indigenous people, and the rate gets worse in more remote parts of the country. Doctors hope that if this technology is proven to be successful, it can be rolled out across remote Australia. We don't know how bad the prevalence of heart failure is because we're not able to diagnose everybody because we can't get everybody echo images to have a look at their heart function. It's good to help, you know, my people, and sometimes it's hard for them to, you know, get into the hospital. The AI program could also be expanded to learn to diagnose problems. Fundamentally, I don't think it's going to replace a human. I, th I think that it means that the process of interpreting the images will be more consistent and probably more reliable. That's it. Slide up. The researchers say the technology could be adapted for scans on other parts of the body to help plug the gaps in remote health care. Stephen Schubert, ABC News, Alice Springs.